then. Look, here's some news. From now on, the show is going to be different. <laughs> no, it is. I've decided no more cussing, and I'll tell you why. Because I, uh, this weekend, I went uh, indoor skydiving. <laughs> I thought it, you'd have to go in a really tall building and... But it's not that. It's like you go inside this room and the, this, the, they have this thing and you put on this special suit and then you walk into this room and you get blown really hard. <laughs> on this... They, keep, yeah, they, they turn on this machine... Oh, grow up. <laughs> they turn on this machine and you go like that and, and then, you know, you... <laughs> and it goes, ooh, and you go... Oh! It was like, it was like it was me, and then it was like, I'm John Rivers, I'm John Rivers. And I was like, quick, stitch in, stitch in! Put something in there, staple it! But I realized, because it was very exhilarating experience, and I really enjoyed it, and I was like, ah! Oh! But I cussed a lot in there. Because <laughs> I was a little bit frightened, so I was like, cussing, 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 cussing. And I have, in fact, exhausted my supply. <laughs> See, I always thought I was the kind of, you know, Saudi Arabia of profanity, that I had deep reserves of cuss words that, you know, the rest of the world was envious of. But apparently I've used up all my source material. I, I haven't even got a darn left in me. So, uh, I'm going to try not cussing for an entire show. <laughs> and if that works, I'll be surprised. <laughs> the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by... As if it weren't a machine. <laughs> Why do you have canned laughter? What the people wear is their business. That's what I say. <laughs> people are wearing cans? Isn't cans a naughty word for ladies? <laughs> is it really? <laughs> Can I say it? This is a, I'm, it's going to be a swear-free week this week. I'm not going to cuss at all on the show ever again. Oh. Let's see how well we do with that, then. <laughs> with this audience, it's not going to last long. <laughs> yeah, it's a great day for America, everybody! thinking, Craig, Craig, come on, give us some proof, give us a nugget, give us a, a sausage that says, yes, a sausage, <laughs> a, little, a morsel of, uh, just a something, a little something that proves it's a good day for America, a great day, in fact, I'll tell you, because Donald Trump is not running for president. <laughs> People saying, oh, Donald Trump has uh, pulled out of the presidential race. He wasn't in the presidential <laughs> race. He didn't have a nomination. Nobody was going to vote for him. <laughs> if he's in the presidential, if you're in the presidential race by saying, I'm in the presidential race, then fine. I'm in the presidential race. Oh. 
say it's constitutionally impossible for me to be brand. Also, I'm not, but I am, so hooray! Now, I have to say, as, as an American, I am relieved that, but as a vulgar late night entertainer, I feel a certain amount of regret. Donald Trump is out, uh, Mike Huckabee is out. At this point, the only person that can derail Barack Obama's re-election is uh, Joe Biden. That'd be it. <laughs> derail, derail, like a train. I love trains, I took a train to work. Choo -choo. <laughs> Do you know, it turns out that the Navy SEALs, uh, when they went into Osama's compound, they found a massive collection of pornography in his bedroom. And I'm like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. At what point did he go from being a creepy mastermind to being a creepy masturbator? <laughs> and I'll say one thing. It's tough enough to hide porn from one wife, but from three. Am I right, fellas? Am I right? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You know, the supporters have been laden are already saying that the porn was planted in his room. And I'm like, that excuse never works. I tried that when I was a kid. I'm like, Mom, this is not my porn stash. She's like, it was planted by Navy SEALs from the future. <laughs> is that right, son? So Navy SEALs from the future came here <laughs> and put a magazine called Ladies in Thin Knitwear under your bed. That's right, that was porn when I was a kid. Ladies in thin knitwear. <laughs> anyway, it's a great day for America, and it's a big day for the United States government. After borrowing money for years, we hit the magic number today, 14.3 trillion. Now, I'll tell you what's magic about it. It's our debt ceiling. This is the maximum amount the, the government is allowed to borrow. As of today, uh, our credit card is maxed out. If America goes to Nine West to buy a cute pair of espadrilles, the bitch cashier... <laughs> We'll be like, I'm sorry, credit card decline. <laughs> I hate that bitch. <laughs> bitch isn't cousin, is it? <laughs> oh, good. Anyway, uh, our, uh, our debt ceiling is very, very high. How high is it, Craig? Well, it's so high, our ceiling is so high, Lionel Richie wouldn't even dance on it. That's <laughs> and, he, and he loves the feeling of dancing on a ceiling. <laughs> I believe we owe $14.3 trillion. That's a lot of money. How much money is it? Well, for that much money, you could fill your gas tank three times. Uh, I'll put it in perspective. If you wanted to earn $14.3 trillion, you would have to divorce Paul McCartney. <laughs> It's so much money that if Oprah Winfrey dropped it, she'd bother to look around and go, uh, I mean, she might not pick it up, but she'd go, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the US government's in a tight spot. I mean, what they, they, I think they should do what others have done when they've faced a, a nightmarish problem, is uh, replace it with Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> I look forward to your whatever you're going to say. Uh, <laughs> you can say what you like about the US Constitution and knowing money, but when you start talking about television programs, you've crossed a line, mister. <laughs> we owe a lot of people money. The, the Treasury Secretary say our creditors include the Chinese government, the Japanese government, uh, a guy named Vinnie the Fist. <laughs> If you don't pay me back by next week, I break your thumb. <laughs> With my fish. That's kind of my thing, Vanita. <laughs> That's on the ceiling. <laughs> you know, Vinny the Fist was the star of the movie that was found in Osama bin Laden's <laughs> friend. No, never mind. Right, anyway, I am. No. All right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. We've crossed the line. Let's just get back from there, shall we? <laughs> You know, half of our money is owed to the Federal Reserve, which means we've been lending money to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't pay it back, we'll have to give ourselves a beating. <laughs> I didn't even say it! I didn't! You owed me completely innocently. I didn't even say anything you would... Oh. So you ooed your own dirty mind, is what you ooed. <laughs> <sighs> anyway.
Anyway, it's, um, you know, it's, uh, what's his name? Commercial break time, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Tonight's presentation of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson is brought to you by Ladies Thin Knitwear. No, 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 no. <laughs> what's wrong with it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't do that thing with your finger. That's rude. Well, do Sorry. it one. No, do it again one more time. Okay. Just, all right, do it. Uh... Guess who's the first guest on the show tonight? <coughs> you! Oh, dear! Yeah, yeah, you. It's gonna be you. That's it's like pretty, a real... It's funny how I pretended like I didn't know. <laughs> no, you were just toying with me? Yeah. <laughs> Who could it be, Craig? <laughs> Do tell. It's a guy with the finger. <laughs> You know, for not cussing, the show's still very dirty, isn't it? <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back, Gary. I could uh, explain to you at home how electric the atmosphere here is in the studio. The audience was singing Hound Dog during the commercial. <laughs> they were, they were singing, you ain't nothing but... Well, I can't sing much more of it because we can't afford to let you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> the country may be $14.3 trillion in debt, but none of it was spent on this show. <laughs> I'm not... Flipping kidding. <laughs> doing pretty well so far, don't you think, Jeff? Haven't cussed at all. You're doing very well. <laughs> Why are you putting on your sexy voice? Like that. Why are you talking like that? Well, you you started talking like that. No, I don't talk like that. Yes, you did. You no, talk... I don't. <laughs> All right, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Be a good boy and whip out those tweets. <laughs> I will, but first, let's look at the correspondence. <laughs> Chicken Vindaloo is good to eat. My, my name, name is Suda. I fix your computer. I'm a happening guy and a dope drummer shooter. When you call tech support, you'll be talking to me. I got more patience than Mahatma Gandhi. And emails. And your emails. All right, this is from Vince in Pasadena, California. Vince says, uh, hey, Craig, I want to invite this girl I, I met to your show for our first date. What do you think? Well, let me see. What does it cost to be in the audience of this show? Nothing. <laughs> what do we specialize in here? Disappointment. <laughs> I think it's an excellent first date, yes. <laughs> when you kids make it over here, let me know, and I'll be an aloof show business person. <laughs> I won't. I'll, I'll have you up here and we'll chat and I'll say, is it your first date and everything? And that'll never, this'll never happen. <laughs> it might. It depends who the guest is that night. I mean, look, the guest is Jeff tonight. I mean, so... Hey, I resemble that remark. <laughs> Did you have a writer write that for you? No. <laughs> and look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're laughing there, Jeff. I'm right? really laughing. Yeah, you're really laughing. <laughs> you bested me, Ferguson. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time ever. Uh, um, all right, this is from uh, Dean in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, who says... Hi, Craig. It's my 78th birthday today, and my nephew told me I should celebrate by partying like a rock star. I'm not sure how to do that. Got any tips? <laughs> well, you want to do something that's age appropriate, uh, and so uh, have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it depends what kind of shape you're in. If you could party like a rock star, but rock stars used to party back in the day. Rock stars now, they're kind of like, oh, have you seen my endorsement? How about my perfume? That kind of thing. <laughs> they're just kind of faceless corporate rascals. <laughs> oh man. This is really hard. <laughs> All right. Um, 
Well, you know, happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> this is from Poppy in Dallas, Texas, who says, uh, Hey, Craig, uh, my roommate just told me she has been using my toothbrush for weeks. I yelled at her about it, but she said I was overreacting. What do you think? I think it's time for an underpants pill fight. <laughs> A videotaped underpants pillow fight, which can only be judged by one person. <laughs> Creepy old Craigie! <laughs> hey, wanna play CBS? Oh, yeah. No, 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 let's not. Let's play NBC. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty crafty. Uh, what? Go for it. All right, then. NBC, no big checks. Okay. <laughs> Naughty beaver cheese. <laughs> you know, like the animal. No, no, no. You I, know, the animal. No, man. No, man, you win. It's, I'm not even playing now. Nah. That's, you're just, no way can I beat that. No, no, I mean, he's got teeth. He's a beaver. Yeah, no, no, no. no. He owns cheese. Yeah, what? you know, I, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I'm just, you know, I know when I'm beat, that's all. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is from... This is from Benny and uh, Coco in Florida. Or it might, it might be from Coco and Benny in Florida, I don't know, I, who says, Dear Craig, I have a supervisor at work that frequently likes to tell long stories, especially when it's time to clock out. How do I tell... Oh, I'm bored. <laughs> this is from Leonardo in, uh, Goiânia, in Brazil. Oh, look, from Brazil. Oh, well, let me be the first to say some Portuguese. <laughs> Dear Craig, says Leonardo, my girlfriend's mom admitted to having her friend's daughter spy on me in hopes of getting information so she'll break up with me. I love my girlfriend, so I need this old witch to like me. What do I do? <laughs> you know what you have to do. Just do it. And do it well. Take her for brunch! <laughs> is that code? Take her for brunch? It certainly is. Yeah. Uh, this is from Jake in Butte, Montana, who says, Craig, my seven-year-old son has been conducting science experiments lately and is now asking for from dangerous chemicals. <laughs> I'm a bit worried. Any advice? Yeah, here's, here's my first piece of advice, you know, as a parent. Um, if you've got a seven-year-old that wants to have dangerous chemicals, don't give them to him. <laughs> Craig, this is genius! You should have your own daytime show where you encourage parents to not give dangerous flipping chemicals to their children. What the heck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> CBS cares. Uh, well, we're, uh, we're out of emails then, Jeff. So what now? More commercials, what do you think? Do like CBS. No, no, don't. I don't want what? to do that. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, okay. Do that. a good one, too. Oh, did you? Yeah. All right, what was it? Craig's birthday suit. <laughs> you wouldn't applaud if you saw me naked. You'd, you'd gasp. <laughs> you think you wouldn't, but you would. You think like, ah, oh, no, it's just a joke, he's just doing it for a joke. And then I would be like, no, no, and then I'd go like that, and you'd be like, oh. <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> and then you could say, well, Craig, I thought the snake mug was a, you know, a compensation for her. And I'd be like, double bluff, girlfriend. <laughs> the show everybody and we're very excited tonight because uh, my first guest is someone who actually works on the show but we've never actually had the time to hang out and talk please welcome to the guest chair Jeff Peterson everybody Jeff Hi. Peterson Hi. thank you thank you thank you 
Ah, you're too kind. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. So there's a history in talk shows that the host will occasionally spend some time talking to the sidekick. Awkward. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. So have you been, what have you been up to? Did you, uh, did you, have you ever been on The Price is Right or do you just uh, know someone now? I stole it from Drew. Now, here's the thing. Drew Carey, who was, uh, you know, I've known for a very long time, longer than even I've known you, is, was uh, very fat. Now he's thin. I, I find it very disconcerting. <laughs> <laughs> That's very touching, Craig. Uh, but uh, were you ever fat? Did you ever have a weight problem? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I was a good five, six hundred pounds in my day. Six hundred pounds? Yeah, That's... yeah. So uh, what happened? Oh, well, you know, I really loved the chunky chews, and then I had to lay off, and then I died. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, was the whole life. Uh, so you, you find the dying uh, really uh, took the weight off then? Yeah, yeah. It's a good weight. It's a good weight loss plan. Dying. Well, it's just it's a side effect of an otherwise tragic condition. You said it, girlfriend. Yeah. Have you been up to San Francisco recently? I know you like to go up there a lot. Wow. Yeah. Apparently somebody's been there. Yeah. I, that woohoo that says San Francisco the world over. I think you know what I mean. Oh, I'd know that woohoo anywhere. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Just saying hey. Yeah, you can say hey. Well, go ahead, have a, a drink of your soda. I'm having some of mine. <laughs> <laughs> that is so rude, Ferguson. What? what? You mean it's rude? Go ahead, have a drink of your soda. Go on, have you, some. You know that arm doesn't work. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot your arm doesn't work. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, it's pretty delicious tonight as well. Mm. Oh, what's that, pomegranate? Oh, I love you it. You stop it. Oh, I, I love a fruity drink, don't you? You're killing me. Ah, come on, I'm only messing around with you. You know what, I think we should get you a better suit. This one looks a little tatty, if you don't mind me saying so. I agree. Oh, I right. borrowed this from Bob Barker and never gave it back. <laughs> Bob Parker's badass. He, you know, if he knows you're stealing his clothes, he'll kick your ass. That's true. He's also a vampire. He'll visit you in the night. <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Being a robot skeleton, you wouldn't have to worry about vampires because there's very little in the way of blood going on. That's a good point. I occasionally make them. But there is the whole bone marrow thing. <laughs> vampires don't suck bone marrow. They're not... They're not doctors, they're, they're vampires. They don't come up and go, excuse me, and, and do bone marrow work. They just bite your neck and suck blood out. If they bite your neck, they're just going to get a shock. <laughs> and maybe a broken tooth. Good point. Yeah. So, what are you doing for the summer? Oh, I don't know. Uh, standing by that podium over there. Making you look good. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. You make me look good? You heard me. Yeah. I guess you do. It's like, you know, it's like the, the thing they did. You know when they started the spin-off from Cheers, that show, Frasier? Yeah. Right? And then they had, because Frasier was kind of fruity and weird when he was in Cheers. So they had a character who was even more fruity and weird, Niles, in the Frasier. Right. That, that's what we did here. I'm kind of weird and fruity and frightening. So we added something more weird and fruity and frightening. <laughs> to make me the less uh, threatening to the folks at home. Hey! Do you watch, uh, do you watch the reality shows? Hey! That's where you learned it, right? The Kardashians and stuff, right? Hey! Hey! Yeah, yeah, like that. Hey! Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you learn it from uh, the Kardashians? Yeah, the Kardashians, yeah! Do you watch the Kardashians? That's it's a very simple question. Anyone in America could answer. It's a simple yes or no answer. Do you watch the Kardashians? Do you not watch the Kardashians? You're watching CBS. <laughs> right now. This is happening right now. <laughs> I know you're probably thinking you're having a flashback, but you're not. It's really happening. CBS, completely bogus show. Oh, all right. You want to play the 
CBS game? Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll play the CBS game. All right. CBS, Craig's Balls Smell. CBS, Cupcakes by Satan. CBS, Candy Beats Sex. I don't get it. Ooh, CBS, custom butt sponge. <laughs> nice. Huh? nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right. CBS, cute butt stinky. <laughs> wow. I think I know that guy. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. CBS, Carney Barker sexcapade. <laughs> Did you practice this before? Because yours are really good and mine all suck. It doesn't seem... You practiced this. Didn't you practice it? No. Yeah, you did. No. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. So what do you want? Uh, mouth organ or awkward pause? <laughs> Let's do mouth organ. <laughs> Come on! Mouth organ! Let's do mouth organ! Whatever. I'll just put it there. You just, you can just pick it up. <laughs> Go on, pick it up. <laughs> I hate you. Oh come on! I'm giving you a job. I made you the lead guest in the show tonight. Try to. I can't. Oh, it's not right. working. Yeah, all right, here, here. I'll put the organ in your mouth. <laughs> not the first time I'd heard that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you ready? Bye, bye. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, all right, go. There you go. Uh. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> 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 Jeff Peterson, everybody. <laughs> are doing in the discos now, they're doing the Jeff. <laughs> My first human guest this evening is uh, an actor <coughs> who stars in The Big Bang Theory on Thursday nights right here on CBS. <laughs> Please welcome Simon Helberg, everybody. Simon Helberg. Oh. It's very nice to see you, and well done on Rooty Tooty Stinky Booty. Well, I, it's right in line with the show it's here. It's absolutely, thought. you've come to the right place, you couldn't be in more appropriate company. Yes. <laughs> How are you? You've, you've had a haircut, it's nice. I did, I went for the Ferguson. No, you didn't. The Fergie. No, it, it's, got a, it's got a touch of the beebs, if you don't mind me saying so. The beebs? A little bit. Well, he was, he was my old hairdo, and, oh, then, yeah. and then I cut it, and then he cut it. You, you cut your own hair, because that's no, good, No, no, I did Bieber cut my own hair. That was Jason, Jason Bieber. Jason, I nearly said his, Jason his, his Bieber. Hey, Jason Bieber. His dim-witted brother, you know. No, Jason, I think Jason Bieber would be his brother who is in uh, SEAL Team 6 or something like oh, that. And he's like, like like Jason Bourne. Kill, killed Bin Laden. Maybe, maybe. maybe. That would be, what if be a like, Bieber killed Bin Laden? Wouldn't that really just, that would be a whole new gusto. That would be Bieber a surprise. Pick. Plus, he'd be a Canadian. <laughs> Beeps oh. is Canadian. Oh, look, I, you follow him more closely than I do. I do. I have no judgment here. No, no, it's all right. What have you been up to then? Because you'll be on hiatus now, aren't you? Uh, I, I am on hiatus. Hiatus, by the way, is a Hollywood word for vacation. Yes. <laughs> yes, I was on hiatus, vacation, mm -hmm. for all the... Where are you going then? I was, I was uh, well, I was in Brazil. You've just uh, been... And you, oh, yeah, I, got, I, I... I know, I wrote that from Brazil. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Hey! <laughs> Fala Portuguese? What? Yeah. 
<laughs> no, I learned, I, you know, I, I'm very slow. I learned the essentials. I learned uh, Obrigado, thank obrigado, you. Obrigado, thank you, yeah. uh, I learned Escupa, sorry, and then I learned Boom Boom, which is butt. Um, <laughs> and that, that got me through the whole trip, sadly. <laughs> Um, what mainly were you doing there? <laughs> it was, uh, you know, we had a lot. Of, we, our, the show's very popular, so we, we, like, we had armed guards and bullet. Really, you were done with the, the cast of the show? Uh, just a few of us went there, really? yeah. Did you uh, parade up and down in skimpy outfits for Carnival? Well, we missed Carnival. I did go to the beach, and I, I'm afraid to wear Speedos. I'm, I'm a slight man. Embrace but, it, man. Embrace yeah. it. No, embrace it. You showed me backstage. No, I still, I'm just still not into it's it. It's kind of like, you go like that, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's not a good woe. No, no, it's not. It's not a good woe. I understand it's that. It's kind of like, oh, no. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's an unkempt, just pale disaster. Are we still talking about me, or...? <laughs> I'm segueing into me. Right, yeah. right. So you, you don't like to wear the speedos. So yeah. So I, I just I found the shortest pair of you know swim trunks I could to try to you know I bought like a boys medium swim trunks. But I didn't I didn't want to commit fully to the to you know the further it goes up. Yeah, uh, yeah. But there are a lot of thongs out there. Are guys wearing thongs? Um, I didn't look at the guys. I I mean. It, <laughs> But you must, in passing, have no. I mean, you can't say, "Oh, I didn't even see any there guys." Were a few, I mean, there were a few male boom booms that I. Really? <laughs> yeah, I see. I think the idea of guys wearing thongs is hilarious. Yeah, I, I know you showed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. uh, yeah, no, no, please. Um, yeah, no. I, I, I tried to to keep it civil, and uh, you know, I just showed a little leg to to reward the uh, the Brazilians with what they wanted. Is it? <laughs> Is it, uh, did you get any, uh, hair work done there, if you know what I'm saying, Brazilian? Le oh, the wax? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was custom, so I, I did, I had the, I got the Bieber down there. Yeah. <laughs> you had it combed forward? <laughs> it falls like that. Hey. Yeah, that's... Some flat ironing and... Yeah, uh, no, it's nice. No, but I mean that's that's where you're that's where you were for work. Aren't you going to take a proper vacation, like go on vacation, vacation? Um, I yeah, I'd like to. I mean, I God, I don't know. Yeah, I'd like to maybe go uh, go away somewhere. I've been travel. I was in D.C. before that, so I'm what like. What you doing I'm, in D.C.? I, I was there uh, with the Creative Coalition for the Arts at the correspondence dinner, and it was exciting. I was sitting like near Dr. Oz and Sean Penn. Like that's the kind. Whoa, of, there's the power. And they were yeah. yeah. <laughs> Comparing yeah. tattoos, or I, I don't know. It was. It was. Uh, do you have any tattoos yet? I'm concerned no, for I, you. No, I. You are. You think you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you, would you do one on the show if I were to get one? Because I'm. I, what are you saying, man? Of course I would. But you want to. You want to do this? I don't. I don't have that, that kind of threshold for for pain. Like whenever it's I. It's not. Would, it's not that painful, really. Honestly, it's not that bad. Except here. Except right where, where I, yours is. No, no, no. Up, up here's all right. But then when it gets to about here. Oh, oh, oh. Really? <laughs> yeah. The room went white. I saw the great spirit in buffalo form. Uh, the door, like, Whoa! Well, man. it's worth it because yeah. you have a snake tail. On yeah, no, it's it's, now. Good. it's all the way up and round. Down. It goes all the way, like a full life-size cobra. It's a light life-size. Well, it's a, I saw a snake at the weekend. I just remember. You did? Yeah, I forgot to tell everybody. I've just Thank told you. you now. Yeah. Where, where? I went for a walk in the Hollywood Hills. Oh, you can't do that. Well, it's dangerous I, out there. It was only a milk snake, but my. A milk? What is they selling milk? Or yeah, it was mean? like, who would buy my milk? No, it was, it was about this size, and okay. I nearly stood on it. I, I uh, nearly pooped my trousers. Well. They're, they're probably used to that. You ever ever seen a snake in real life? Uh, I have. I, they in in my like kindergarten class. I think we we had one in a in a you know a glass. That they, what? I know. Uh, That's dangerous. Well, I mean, that snake could have been hurt. These children all over it like that. I I grew up in the rough and you know rough and tough city of Los Angeles. There was no. Which it, part it, of Los Angeles did you? The grow? really rich part. The really rich part. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> I did. Oh, was, that's, that's lovely, look, though. It was a domesticated snake. Right. It came from a very wealthy background. Right. It only ate, you know, it wore John Dory. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It ate John Dory and sashimi. And that's uh, amazing. Uh, yeah, no, I. But I am scared. If I, you know, I probably would poop many people's trousers if I saw. <laughs> But that yet you seem to surround yourself by things I'm afraid of. Is that to make yourself tougher or to make yourself seem vulnerable or? I don't know. It's a darkness within me. Yeah. <laughs> You're a brooder. I don't know what it is. I always embrace that which terrifies me. Well, <laughs> this is like a scene from Virginia Wolf or something. Yeah. <laughs> if you're very I'm intense. smelling my finger right now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Is that to make it look like you have a mustache? Yes, I'm, I'm thinking this is where the mustache would be. Right, if, I, yeah. if I was manly and if I to grow dared one. to grow yeah. one, this is where it I would like be. to just do this sometimes too. Like. With, without a mustache? Yeah, no, no. It's just, just like that? Yeah, it also, it, like I'm twisting the end. I like it. I you like it? And well, you, uh, you should grow a mustache. You could. I, I you're, on, you're on your vacation, hiatus. Yeah, that doesn't, I mean, that's a license to do certain things, but I still, I want to be presentable. I mean, are you saying America's mustachioed men and women are not presentable? <laughs> it's a little, it's a little ironic, you know? I feel like it's a lot of ironic, people are trying to sort of be ironic with uh, their I see what you mean, hair. yeah, that kind of 70s irony. Yeah, look, but, I, yeah. but th that being said, I did, I did do it one time. I'm, I mean, there's like, a, I feel like there's like a Civil War reenactor sort of movement with a lot of hipsters. They dress like in coats and oh, yeah, monocles yeah, yeah, yeah. and probably have like foot rocks. Starbucks, rock. they got the little hats yeah, on, yeah. trying to look cool yeah, in Los yeah. Angeles. I'm like, it's 98. Outside. Yeah, they get the little wooden yeah. hats on them. They're like trying to buy like the trench rot off of eBay yeah. to give themselves some trench rot. <laughs> I pulled that out. Right? Yeah, that's good. The, you know, a civil war disease. Yeah, I'm always was it stopped. really a civil war disease? I think trench rot was something. I... It sounds bad, right? It's it's a staple of late night comedy. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's up there with Rudy Tootie stinking. There, and we come full circle. And yeah. we're out of time. What? I, 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 I know, it goes so fast. I know. I, you just told me about snakes and... and yeah, we, yeah, we could, you know. Yeah. Yeah, awkward pause or uh, mouth organ? What was the second? Mouth organ? Mm. That sounds really dirty, too. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's just me. Oh. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's one of, uh, it's a, a term a, for a harmonica. A, or a harp, call, some people say. Uh, some, no, no, a harp is a different thing. That's a giant instrument with strings I on it. I know that, know. but the bluesy people say, you know, you got your harp. Oh, they, really? Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, Mouth organ is in a whole other part of town, they say. <laughs> <laughs> That's a club I went to in Brazil, and uh, <laughs> it was a lot of you fun. You wear your little Speedos there, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Against my will. So, uh, uh, mouth organ, harmonica, uh, Now I want to see the mouth organ. I, I mean, let's... Uh, let's All right. Let's well, would you like to perform on oh. the mouth organ? Sure. <laughs> Has it been sterilized, or is this... Yes. Oh, I get my own. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I think you're clean. I just... No, no, know. no. I, I'm, re <laughs> I'm reasonably clean. Like, when Howie Mandel comes on the show, he's like, it's okay. So, really? Yeah, well, yeah. he does. It's just all yeah, he's, he's a germaphobe. You a germaphobe? Uh, you know, I, I, I wasn't going to play your mouth organ, but <laughs> I take this off, right? Yeah, you can take that off. Yeah. Okay, see, I'm Yeah, learning. then you can get to the germs. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, I think that's backwards. Ooh, that was good, though. A lot of people do that, you know, when they come on here <laughs> they, and they pretend oh. they can blow it. Can't you put it in, like, post or something? That I, like... Post? <laughs> <laughs> You're funny! I, you know, uh, it, it, If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at oneiota.com. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? Oh, my. <laughs> you, uh, you, you did good. Yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, you did. You, you did good. I think you're going to get offers of work. You think so? Yeah, yeah. People will have seen you as a guest on the show, and they'll offer you jobs in um, movies. What kind of movies? <laughs> well, let me put this delicately. Have you heard of Osama Bin Laden? In your pants. Yeah. Cheers and everybody, we gotta go. Good night.